Praise the Lord, everyone. Welcome to the God's Hiller 7 and Time Prophecy channel. Um, I'm Sister Barbara, and I'm here today with the prophecy. Um, today is, um, let's see, October... Um, let's see, is it October 21st? I'm just taking a guess. Let me just see what it is quick. Because my guess will be wrong. Uh, let's see, October 18th, 2024. I'm sorry. Um, so I have a prophecy I received on October 16th, uh, 2024. <clears throat> so before I get started with it, just want to welcome all my new friends and subscribers and say hello and thank you. And please make sure you're subscribed and you hit the notification button to everyone. Thank you. Um, so let's start off with a prayer. <clears throat> uh, the prayer of Jabez. <clears throat> Excuse me. God the Father in heaven. In the name of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, bless me indeed. Expand my territory. Keep evil and the devil away from me and my family. Let your hand be with me always, and please don't ever let me cause anyone harm or pain. In the name of Jesus Christ, I pray. Okay. <clears throat> All right, so join me in the King James Version Bible, and I love when I do this. I open right to the, the, the book. Uh, so I'm going to be in the book of Matthew. Where's my glasses? Let's start at, let's see, verse 7, because these things are going now. For nation shall rise against nation, and kingdom against kingdom, his Holy Spirit. And there shall be famines, pestilences, and earthquakes in diverse places. All these are the beginning of sorrows. Then they shall deliver you up to be afflicted, and shall kill you. And you shall be hated of all nations for my name's sake. Let's see, what should I do here? Okay, that's as far as I'm going to go. Do I want to skip over? All right, that's as far as I'm going there. But read that whole book because we're in some of these parts now. So again, this prophecy, I, re I heard it um, two or three days beforehand. Uh, now, if you're on my channels or my Facebook pages, <clears throat> excuse me, I usually put up scriptures on there. If I'm hearing a prophecy, as I'm getting the prophecy and hearing parts of it, I usually put the scriptures up there. So if you see them on the Facebook pages, that's what's going on here. <clears throat> now, I heard this, this first sentence probably about 50 times over the three days, maybe. <clears throat> Daughter, speak. Do you remember the story of Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego? History will repeat this. Soon many will be tested in the furnace. A tyrant leader will appear with a hidden agenda. Do not fear, I will be with you. Many will be put in prison and put to death for following I am. Do not fear, my angels will be with you in your time of need. My children will be saved and spared. Well, Holy Spirit, darkness will cover the land. I am coming quickly, do not fear. Wow, wow, wow. All right, now, he asked this question. Now, I know this, this, um, this, this story. Do you remember the story of Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego? These were the, the uh, Jewish boys um, that would not bow to, I, I don't know if it was uh, Nebuchadnezzar or a statue of them, either one or the other. So, they put them in a furnace because they felt they would not obey. They put them in the furnace and they heated the furnace. I'm pretty sure it went that, like they heated the furnace seven times hotter than no normal. So the Jewish boys were in there. So as they looked in the furnace, this is the awesome part about God. There's three of them in there. They look in the furnace and guess what? There were four people in there. Hmm, what does he say here? Do not fear, many will be put in prison, prison and put to death. All right, now where is the part about the angels? Okay, yes, my angels will be with you in your time of need. So the fourth person in the furnace with the Jewish boys was an angel. So he, they were spared. They opened the uh, furnace and they were not even burnt, nothing. How amazing and awesome is that? Now what he said though, which is hair raising, is going to repeat itself. History will repeat itself. All right, that made my hair stand up. Okay, now this next part, 
I think I have either three or four other prophecies with this tyrant's leader. And many people speculate uh, under the prophecy on who this is, because it's not coming straight up and saying this is Antichrist. A tyrant leader will appear with a hidden agenda. Do not fear, I will be with you. So this, it sounds like this tyrant leader is one that's going to be putting people to death and in prison. Right, my angels will be with you in your time of need. Okay, now this part is the best. My children will be saved and spared. Now, will, be, we, will we be removed, spared and saved? Will, will it be the rapture before this? You can leave a comment under there and tell me what you think. I mean, I have my own opinion, but I don't like to put my opinion on it. My children will be saved and spared. Darkness will cover the land. I am coming quickly. Do not fear. So he says, do not fear. Let's see. Does he say it three times? Usually I get a three time mark. Let's see. Do not fear. Do not fear. Let's see. I don't know. I only see it two times. Go back. Are you only? No. There's the third one. So he said it three times. When he said it says things three times, you better uh, pay attention because that's important. <clears throat> so based on this, <coughs> excuse me, um, my allergies are like bad. Uh, Repent and be baptized in the name of Jesus. You will receive the gift of the Holy Spirit. You can read about that in the book of Acts, Acts 2.38. Now Sister Amber was here yesterday and she took a video of because the trees are gorgeous over there, of all the trees on the mountain uh, being uh, red and orange. Um, however, I didn't realize what she was doing, and she was out on the balcony. She didn't have the blog. And I, I don't really know how to upload from this phone. This is an old phone. So we'll have her redo it again, probably on Tuesday next week. Right, let's look at this again. See if there's anything else that needs to, um, what do you call, be brought to attention. Okay, now the darkness will cover the land. Again, I have prophecies on that. I actually have a playlist on that. Now, if this is the three days of darkness, um, you might want to check that playlist playlist out. I'll put it, um, I'll tag it like in the video so it'll pop up there if you want to go back and look at that. <clears throat> what else? Uh, the weather events. Now, I usually get a weather vibe and I asked uh, Amber, Sister Amber, if she had a weather vibe too. Um, basically, we both had the same weather vibe. Mine was blizzards and ice storms. Now, I didn't check any of those. They have those, uh, what are they called, some kind of f farmer's almanac or something. Brother Dan used to always get them. Now, I didn't check on what, what they're saying is going to be like, but, but my little antenna is with the blizzards and the ice storms. I think I mentioned this before, if you're on here. Um, in one of the blizzards, uh, it didn't say how much snow we were getting. And I was looking out the window. Usually when they call for snow, I make, don't laugh, a big pot of spaghetti sauce and meatballs. So that's what I was doing. So Brother Dan came in and he says, so what do you think about the, the snow? I said, it's not going to be that much. He's like, well, what do you mean? I said, no, it's going to be way more than that. So we started running around. Yes, we did trying to find a kerosene heater in case the power went out. We were running around, there was gun shopping, running around all day. And guess what? We had a blizzard. And the second time that we were getting a, another store st a snowstorm, he asked me the same thing and I said, no, it's going to be big. That was the second blizzard we had. So again, my little antenna is up. Make sure you're prepared for winter. I usually do, and I was, um, tr don't laugh, I was training Sister Amber uh, what I do in the fall. I said I go in winter mode around October. Um, I pull out all of the ice scrapers, all the ice melt. I get, get the, the furnace ready. I get everything ready for what's going to happen. Uh, we go food shopping. We get extra stuff and extra supplies for the winter. You don't know what's going to happen here. Get extra water. You know, I say this all the time, and I know a lot of people were spared a lot of anguish o over me nagging about this because they did it. So don't think it's silly when, when things start happening, and especially with the power out. You saw what happened in the hurricanes. Excuse me. I don't even know if they still have all the, um, the, uh, the weather or the, um, the power restored. Now, I did talk to my relative in uh, Tampa, Florida, 
um, they said that one of the family members had all of the, the, the trees down in the, the driveway. They were not able to get in and out. So I don't know how things are going there. I did not follow up on the Weather Channel to see, see the, the recovery efforts or what was going on there. But have a plan. Don't be a victim. Have extra cash. Have extra food. Do this like I do. I'm training a sister Amber. I said, at some point, I'm not going to be here. I said, you need to know how to get your house in order for the winter. Right now, I'm in winter mode. Like I said, you get your stuff ready and you have a plan. And don't think it's silly because it helped us many times. Have a plan, have an emergency evacuation route to get out where you are. You saw what happened during the, the uh, hurricanes. Have a plan, go through your town, know where the streets are, know what's going on, have an evacuation plan too. And here's what I usually say when I get somebody under the bottom saying, well, I, can't, I don't drive or I don't have a way. God will find a way to help you. Never underestimate the power of God. Keep praying. I said this on the last one. Keep praying. He's answering prayers. Don't think he doesn't hear you. He hears every whisper. He hears you. He knows everything. Don't give up on him. He's not going to give up on you. If you're in trouble, he will make a way. Have faith. Where is your faith? Have faith. All right, I don't want to ramble here. Let's see if there's anything else I need to do before I sign off. Okay, so we talked about the dark. Three Days of Darkness, I'll put that up there on the uh, video, that, that playlist. Um, and now I'll also put up the playlist of Rapture, because I have a playlist on that. Uh, we'll be saved and spared. So will, will we be removed? That is the question. I'm ready to go. Every night, repent. Every night, ask the Lord, pray that you are worthy to escape the wrath to come. You see the wrath. You see it out there in the weather, weather judgments. I have an old prophecy out there that says hurricanes, blizzards, what else, uh, nor'easters, they are all judgments from God. He's trying to wake the people up. Wake up. And he's calling his last few to him. If he's calling you, if you're getting nudged, if he wants you to read something, or if he keeps on bringing a scripture to your attention, he wants you to read it and know it. Again, the Bible. Read it for yourself. Don't depend on others. There might be a time when you can't get a Bible. Make sure you have some. At least one, one good one. All right, what else? I think I better sign off here because I don't want to go too long. Again, please like and share because they're not doing it on Facebook or YouTube. If you put it up on your page and give me a thumbs up on it, yes, please do this. Uh, again, thanking everyone that uh, translates in the other languages under the videos. You can put a prayer request anywhere you want under there. Uh, thanking everyone, especially that helps the ministry financially so I could help others. Right now, I mentioned it last time, if the Lord nudges it for you to help out, um, I'm sending um, uh, food boxes to some of the prisoners uh, where, where my son was in, in jail at the state corrections. And they are so grateful when I send money to the commissary. It's not my money. This is what I'm saying. It's you helping them. And they are so appreciative. All right, let me sign off there. God bless you all. We love you guys. Uh, make sure you stay safe and have a plan. Don't be caught off guard. Because you never know. The weather could change like that in a minute. Now, when I woke up this morning and looked out the window, I could have swore it was snow, snowing out there. Because there's a light right down by, by in the park underneath me. It looked like it was snowing, but I couldn't tell when I got up. Right. Hopefully this worked out. I keep on having a problem with this um, recorder moving. God bless you all. We love you.